Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and today we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Oppo Reno and Huawei Nova 4 smartphones. In terms of hardware specs, especially CPU and GPU, Huawei Nova 4 is slightly better compared to Oppo Reno smartphone but both of these devices they are exactly same in terms of pricing and that's why we are going to do this benchmarking comparison to see which device is going to be better in terms of performance and when you are going to buy any of these two devices then you can consider this benchmarking test result along with other factors of these two devices so let's start it So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Antutu Benchmarking, Basemark OS 2, Basemark X, 3 d Mark, and Geekbench 4. So first of all, let's start with Antutu Benchmarking. So Huawei Nova 4 scored 197,830 and Oppo Reno scored 155,034. So you can see that in this test, the winner is Huawei Nova 4. And if you go to the individual test score result, here you can compare the result of CPU, GPU, UFS and memory. And as you can see that in all of these four tests, performance of Huawei Nova 4 is better compared to Oppo Reno. And especially when we are talking about the GPU, the difference is huge. And this is what contributing is overall more points of Huawei Nova 4 on Antutu benchmarking. So let's go back from here, let's have a look on Basemark OS 2. So Huawei Nova 4 scored 3076 and Oppo Reno scored 2665. And once again you can have a look on the individual test score result of system, memory, graphics and web browsing. And as you can see that in system, graphics and web browsing performance of Huawei Nova 4 is better but in memory performance of Oppo Reno is better. And once again the huge difference is coming where GPU is getting involved for system and web browsing the difference is not much but whenever we are talking about the GPU in Antutu benchmarking and also in Basemark OS 2 the difference we are getting is big and this is what contributing in the overall more points that Huawei Nova 4 is scoring compared to Oppo Reno. So in this test as well the winner is Huawei Nova 4 let's have a look on Basemark X this is basically a benchmarking test for GPU so it will give us the idea about the GPU capability so Oppo Reno scored 40,817 and Huawei Nova 4 scored 43,892 so as you can see that once again performance of Nova 4 is better and you can give the credit to the better GPU of the device and now let's have a look on 3D Mark this is also a benchmarking test for GPU capability and gaming this test is divided in two parts Slingshot Extreme and Slingshot and once again Slingshot Extreme is divided in OpenGL and Vulkan. So first of all let's have a look on the Slingshot. In that Huawei Nova 4 scored 1719 and Oppo Reno scored 2660. So in this performance of Oppo Reno is better. When you are talking about the Slingshot Extreme Huawei Nova 4 scored 2520 in OpenGL and 4093 in Vulkan and Oppo Reno scored 1810 on OpenGL and 1746 in Vulkan. So in both of these tests OpenGL and Vulkan of Slingshot Extreme performance of Huawei Nova 4 is better but in Slingshot performance of Oppo Reno is better. And now let's go back from here and let's have a look on the last test and that's Geekbench 4 this is also divided in two parts CPU and compute and once again CPU is divided in single core and multi core so Huawei Nova 4 scored 1782 in single core and 6411 in multi core while Oppo Reno scored 1471 in single core and 5857 in multi core so in both of these the winner is Huawei Nova 4. Now let's have a look on compute. So Huawei Nova 4 scored 7373 and Oppo Reno scored 6487. So in this test as well the winner is Huawei Nova 4. 
So basically in all of these benchmarking tests except Slingshot on 3D Mark, the winner is Wave Nova 4 only in Slingshot on 3D Mark performance of Oppo Reno was better. In all other tests, performance of Wave Nova 4 was better. So now you know that how much difference we are going to get in terms of performance between Wave Nova 4 and Oppo Reno. And if you're planning to buy any of these two devices, then you can consider this result in your decision making because both of these smartphones, they are pretty different in terms of feature. So you can consider all of them along with benchmarking test score result, and then you can decide which one is better for you. But both of them are nice devices, you will be happy with the performance, does not matter which device you are going to buy. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel, do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in an another video, have a nice day.